My first COD season was 1970 to 1971. Buoyed up by all the reports of East Coast catches, these would be potentially the biggest and most edible fish I was likely to catch. So the excitement was palpable, especially when huge catches were reported on the Dungeness beaches only 60 miles away. But my transport was limiting. A Honda moped, so it had to be local. That first season was an eye-opener, with a coddling in the one to two pound bracket. I had no pictures taken, since these were not exactly portable size, but for me, they were gold. The tackle in those days was capable, but nothing like the incredibly light and powerful rods and reels you have today. Fantastic tackle can only catch what is there. The second year, 1971 to 72, by which time the cod had doubled or more in size for three to five pounds, and a fantastic size to get on your line. Cod do grow really fast, and when left alone to do so, my biggest that year was seven pounds, and it taught me a very good lesson. Multipliers have a star drag. Mine was done up tight. I was in Liverpool a fish that she took line. In true cod fashion, the rod arched over, and I grabbed it and struck. I went to wind in. No chance. The hook held, the line held, the cod started to pull me down the beach. I then slackened the drag and the fish took more line. And then the fish took more line. Cod have a quite distinctive head shaking fight and it came in slowly. When you have a good fish on, the excitement is off the scale. Once on the beach, I couldn't believe how much bigger it was than the others. My biggest cod, and my biggest fish to date. This one did make the photo album and what a memory. I've caught much bigger ones since, but this was only my second year of beach fishing. The next 10 years, it was whiting, 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 and more whiting. Uh, there were other fish here, soles, flounders, pouting, bass, I wish I also were caught but generally speaking, the cod were absent for 10 years from our shores until the 1980s when they suddenly reappeared. Big ones, very big ones. The best night I ever had for codling, I caught seven and they weighed total about 24 pounds something. I weighed each individual fish, kept a couple and put the rest back and total them up as I caught them. So that was a pretty good night on the local beaches with tackle which you would consider inferior. But it did the job, the fish were there and I caught them. And so to the future of the uh, cod fishing. Well I'm afraid it's bad news, there really isn't one. Uh, looking at the first chart here from 1950 to 2000 and whatever it is, um, it's not looking good, is it? From 1.5 million tonnes down to about um, 0.3 million tonnes and sinking even lower. Second chart is the North Atlantic, including the Canada, and it follows much the same sort of trajectory up until present day, down to 2010. Um, the third one is the breeding stock of cod in the North, Atl in the North Sea and it's um, gone up to 250,000 and dropped down to 50,000 and gone up to about under 100,000. So that's not a very good idea, is it? So I don't think there's much future for cod. Final word. All these cod I caught on these pictures were caught at night. I never caught one of them during the day. It's night time they feed and night time you'll catch the most. So if you want a big tip, don't bother fishing during the day. Fish for them at night. Goodbye, guys.